What is up everybody? Welcome back to a new video. If you are new, my name is Asia Marie. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And while you're at it, click the bell so you can be notified every time your girl uploads a new video. So before we get into the video, I do want to say if you guys like my long ponytail braided, ponytail i did do a tutorial on how to achieve this look so if you guys want to check that out i will put that up on the screen and it will be in the description box down below so i just want to get that out the way because i'm obsessed with it but okay anyhow let's get into the video so as you guys can tell by the title today we're going to be talking about feminine hygiene and how to prevent yeast infections or BV, AKA bacteria vaginosis, and how to just keep ourselves clean and fresh down there. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some products that has helped me out and why not share it with my girls? <laughs> why not help y'all out, honey? Summertime is slowly starting to transfer over into the fall and the winter, but we still wanna resume smelling fresh and clean and preventing all of those things. Even if we do have them, I have some products to show you guys to help. So let's just first start off by talking about um, how to stay fresh and clean down there. So I'm showing you guys some products. Here it is. It is just the Dove Sensitive Skin. So this works well for down there because it's made for sensitive, I don't wanna say it's made for sensitive areas, but it's made for sensitive skin. So this is really, really, now we're not putting this inside or, you know, inserting this down there. We're just simply just using this, lather it up with some water and, you know, go down there and do what you gotta do. But we're not sticking this up our lady part. We're just simply using this to clean. And I really, really like this because it says it gently cleanses and renourishes the skin. And I highly believe that it does. It's not too strong. Um, it's better than using the Summer's Eve and all of those other products. So this is a staple in my hygiene routine. I love, I live by this, I'm telling you guys. And it also gives you like a nice fresh smell. It's very clean. It's not, it's not strong, but it, it does, I'm not gonna sit here and say it doesn't have a smell. It does have a smell, but it's very gentle. It's not overpowering or overbearing for the, the lady part area. I love this. So if you guys haven't tried this, try this out, I'm telling you. Speaking of feminine hygiene products, this product is actually targeted for that area specifically. And this is just the honey pot. And I also have this in the sensitive, cause why not? Let's just, you know, be extra careful. It also says it's targeted to help prevent bacteria vaginosis and yeast infections. So I'm not too sure how true that is, but this is a really good product um, just for freshening yourself, you know, every night, every morning, and you feel like you have to use a feminine wash. I would recommend this. I haven't um, opened this one up, but I do have one in the shower. You can get this at your local Target. Um, and I think Walmart as well, but everyone snags and grab these up. So, mm -mm. I have a backup one because I know how it can be with snagging honey pot up. This product was actually made by a female who suffered from bacteria vaginosis. So if she cured herself, I'm pretty sure this did it. Well, I know for a fact it did it because she created this product. <laughs> but if you guys are suffering from bacteria vaginosis or BV, try this out. I just use this every now and then like after my cycle and I want to feel you know replenished and you know <laughs> okay down there because you guys know how that is after that week okay so this may look kind of weird <laughs> you'll you'll understand you'll understand I know it looks crazy but just hear me out hear me out this is Chobani Greek yogurt if you guys don't know this, yogurt, Greek yogurt is good for um, getting your probiotics. So this is what we have in our, our household. We use Chobani in the flavor vanilla. I'm pretty sure the less sugar you have, the better, AKA the plain Greek yogurt. But 
who wants to do that for real? Like who wants to just sit, sit there and stuff down plain yogurt down their throat when you can just enjoy it with some vanilla yogurt. Mm. But yeah, so the less sugar, the better, of course. Greek yogurt, like I said earlier, has probiotics that is very, 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 very good for your lady part area, especially if you threw your pH balance off. If you guys don't know, your pH balance is, is supposed to be between a 3.5 and a 4.5. So anything below or anything above is a disaster. You wanna keep your pH in between that range right there. So um, for instance, if your pH is a, let's say a 3.0, um, it can cause you anything like a yeast infection or bacteria vaginosis. So you want to make sure it's, you know, in that category. And also, I don't know if many people know this as well, but remember when I say that I like using the honey pot after my cycle? And many people don't know this, but when you're on your cycle, your pH is thrown off. So it's always good to regulate either during your cycle by taking a pill. These are the pills that I take during, after, in between, around, during the month, just in general. These are the pills that I take. This here is the Renew Life Probiotics. Probiotics are good in general. You do wanna to try to take these daily. If you can't take them daily, I highly recommend that you take these after sex and after your cycle because those are the two things that can really throw your pH balance all the way off and we don't want that and then i also have here my cranberry pills if you guys haven't watched my feminine hygiene five tips or not even five tips that girls should know check that out i will link it here okay you guys now let's talk about the elephants in the room actually elephants because it's two we're going to be talking about we've gotten or i hope we've taken care of the odor situation by implementing those things into your regimen or your routine, you will see a big difference with the odor or whatever. So now let's talk about yeast infections, okay? Yeast infections is not a disease. That's why it's called an infection. It's just simply your pH balance being thrown off. And it can be thrown off by an amount of things such as working out, you know, having sweat down there, excess sweat, you know, being too moist down there. It can also be caused by sex and you're not, you know, using the restroom after, um, new products down there, new soaps, new anything. It can just be caused by a number of things, your diet, it can just be caused by a lot of things. So it's not a disease, it's just simply an infection and it can be treated. I have some things here that I wanna show you guys. The first thing I wanna show you guys is this right here. Now this is strips that allow you to see if you have an infection. Now, I would opt for this first instead of making a trip to the doctor's office and then it's nothing, you know? I'm gonna show you guys an example. So when you urinate, it gives you like this scale of what it should look like after you wait two minutes with the urine being on the strip. So anything between this shade is a negative. Now, if you're these colors, that means that you're positive. So this is when you take into action if you are positive. If you're negative, you know, great. You're just feeling a little weird. Maybe you've done something a little different this time and it's okay, you don't have now. I'm not the biggest fan of taking antibiotics. So especially when, it, when it's a yeast infection, yeast infection, something that can be cured in the comfort of your home and you can save money and all that other extra stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is something that people do and that's Monistat. And this is just a three day Monistat. So it says it cures most yeast infections relieves associated internal itching and irritation. So it's a, a vagina, wait, vaginal <laughs> antifungal. Um, so you just do this three days. It gives you like the applicators that you lay down on your bed and you just insert it, insert it the same way you would with a tampon. 
Um, it's recommended that you do this at night so it can sit in there and kill off um, all the things, all the bacteria that it needs to kill off. And then in the morning, it comes out when you stand up. So that's why they say just do it at night. That way you're in like a laying down position so it can stay up there as long as it can. And then throughout the day, you are gonna have discharge because it's gonna be coming out of you. So you do need to wear a pad, not even a panty liner. You need to wear a pad because it's a lot that comes out. They're not everyone's favorite, but they're quick and easy if you don't have time to go to the doctor and if you don't wanna take antibiotics, which can cause you, it's just a headache. It's so annoying with females because antibiotics kills off everything. So it kills the good bacteria and the bad bacteria. So now you're still stuck with a yeast infection. It's, so, it's annoying. It's so annoying being a girl sometimes, but it costs to be the boss, right? Okay, so this is another product that people are iffy about, but it has been proven by doctors that it cures both yeast infection and bacteria vaginosis, and that is boric acid. So this is a board exit that I have, and I feel like it's safe because I bought this at Target, you know? So, I mean, not everything that's put on the shelves is safe, but I'm pretty sure if this was something like, like for instance, the Yoni stuff, that's not in store, you know, like that. I don't think that stuff is like medically, you know, approved. This is something that doctors have um, recommended to people who, keep having bacteria vaginosis after bacteria vaginosis after bacteria vaginosis and they keep taking antibiotics after antibiotics and that's not healthy for you that's not healthy at all because your body starts to rely on it so once you're off boom you have another yeast infection or you have another case of bacteria vaginosis you know so just try other ways before you go to the um, doctor's office and get on this prescription of antibiotics because it's not the healthiest route. I use these after my cycle as well because I just feel really refreshed and really clean and it just gets the rest of whatever was up there out. You do want to still wear a pad or a panel liner with this because it just, it dissolves up there. And um, with this product as well, you want to make sure you're taking this at night after you've, you've taken a shower. It's safe, it says it prevents odor caused by menstruation, intercourse, exercise, and a vaginal imbalance during menopause. So boom, odor your cycle intercourse boom you know you know you slip up you know use your restroom or your partner who knows i don't know who knows but let's just say you now have a yeast infection or bv from intercourse it cures it boom exercise like i said earlier access sweat all that stuff it's not good all that moist it doesn't need to be down there pop this in boom you're good and it even helps during menopause and I'm not there yet. So wow, I'm gonna say this, P-S-A. Do not, do not swallow this. Don't put it in your mouth and swallow this. This is only for inserting in your, your lady part. Let me say lady part, cause I don't want YouTube to flag my video but this is not to be swallowed. So make sure this is not in the reach of any kids and make sure you don't put this anywhere where you're, where all your other vitamins and pills because it's freaking boric acid. You can die from intaking boric acid. So just to be on the safe side, I keep this in my bathroom, I put in my cabinet. So I don't get, you know, confused when I'm taking my other vitamins and my other supplements. So girl, yes, we all about being safe, honey. You know, the fall coming up, winter finna come up. You, we still wanna feel clean, smell good, feel fresh and feel confident. You know, this is all about being confident and feeling your best self in your skin. You don't wanna let a yeast infection or BV make you feel insecure about, you know, 
certain things in your life. Um, whether that is an outfit or with your partner or just hanging out, you know, you want to feel your best. So I hope these products, I hope they have helped you guys because I know they've helped me and I had to do my research. So I still want you guys to do your research. If you don't feel comfortable doing some of these things, don't do it. Always do your research first, you know. Feel comfortable, feel good. It's not gonna last forever. Even if it's feeling like it's gonna last forever, it's not gonna last forever. And it's normal, so don't feel like you're a disgusting girl or you're just this weird girl. It happens to all of us. We're girls. Anything, we're so sensitive. Anything can throw us off. Anything, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Don't feel bad don't feel bad. I'm here to help you guys and I hope you guys can leave some suggestions in the comment section down below to help out any other girls. The products that you guys use, any regimens that you guys do to keep your lady part fresh, clean, odor free, bacteria vaginosis free, yeast infection free, you know what I'm saying? So let's just help each other out, you know, feel free if you're comfortable let us know um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys like my ponytail so if you guys are interested in how i did this cute little bop right here be sure to check out that video but i love you guys so 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 much thank you for rocking with your girl but i guess i will see you guys in my next video bye